Residents at a NYCHA complex in the East Village are still being told not to drink the water days after elevated levels of arsenic were detected there. The new test results show no contamination, but the city is waiting for more tests to come back. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook is live in the East Village, and Elijah, residents have been getting cloudy drinking water for weeks. Yeah, that's correct, Cindy and Chris. Uh, this problem has been going on for at least a few weeks at this point, and residents say as of this morning, they're complaining that the water is still not running in the clear. Look at how cloudy the water is. Despite what it may look like, the mayor's office says the cloudiness isn't connected to arsenic levels. But residents say they're still being told for safety reasons not to drink or cook with the tap water. It's a major concern which is being investigated by the city's federal monitor and to how long it took NYCHA to test for the poisonous metal and why they didn't immediately notify residents. Parents didn't know and they was using the water to put to mix their baby's milk, powdered milk, taking baths, drinking, taking medication. Why nobody told us about this? I'm kind of scared of... You know, how is this going to go in the future? New York City Councilwoman Carlina Rivera says she's demanding answers. We are in a place where we have even more questions than we did previously. We're going to continue to demand testing and support for the families, water, food, and figure out going forward what, what the consequences are going to be for the city. NYCHA says it will provide supplies until water in the buildings is safe to use in the meantime. For residents with children or serious health issues, this has truly become a water emergency. I don't think I'm ever going to trust the water after that. That's scary. We're not talking about little stuff here. We're talking about poison. And well, adding fuel to the fire here, NYCHA is alerting residents there that the power will be out later on this morning for at least a few hours. As you can imagine, this will be impacting many folks, uh, particularly those who live on the higher floors without the use of an elevator. And some residents say that this will especially impact those who are elderly and parents with young children. And now we're live this morning in the East Village, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Okay, Elijah, thank you.